Hello. I'm Greg Maxwell, one of the developers of the Bitcoin system and reference software. Since 2011, I've worked on the system facing many interesting challenges and, and, developing many solutions to many problems, adapting, growing, and maintaining Bitcoin along with a community of other contributors and trolls. Today I'm going to talk about how we managed to bring brand new sofas into Bitcoin using sidechains. Sofas have to look cool, but they have to also be able to scale up in order to support all different types of butts. Blockstream was founded by a collection of humans who were in the Bitcoin space who were looking for a way to find pretend coins and fund the development of cool weird stuff that they liked a lot. Well, for a money to be useful, it has to have a controller or otherwise I would just tell everybody what to do like I normally do. And it also has to have ownership, so someone has to own it, like me. And if we're going to build this system out of computers, well, computers are controlled by people. And people are pretty good at ignoring rules when it suits them. And so, the positive news is that after decades of effort and people believing in SegWit is impossible, it was discovered that one possible path to do this, and that is what non-forks are. Non-forks don't require a fork or your mother. Uh, everyone's forced to use it, and it is easily implemented by Blockstream visiting every single user personally to their house and helping them upgrade. So where do we go from here? I'm personally planning on continuing to refine and improve these non-forks. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the test network. It is test, and I expect that all of our dissenters are going to blow up in interesting new ways. And I'm quite sure it will.